You are very lazy. You did not do your duty. What you are supposed to do. The rest of the birds are going to provide for their little ones. But you, you haven't done nothing. So you shall be punished for this. The animal names the zebra. At one time, he had the same color coat as all the horse animals. And the creator came down and again approached the horses when they were wild. So he told the horses in the territory where the zebra lives today, he said that in this area it will become dry. Sometimes it'll rain. And sometimes you'll have storm, windstorm, sandstorm. So it is up to you how you are to judge yourself. Adjust yourself to this weather and to the conditions that you are going to live in. So it went along. This one horse, he stayed out in the open, never took shelter, never did nothing. He just lays it around. When the rain came, came, he stayed out there. When the wind blew the sand around, he stood out in the open. So all these things happened. And the creator came back down and he said to this horse, you didn't do anything for yourself. You never tried to protect yourself. You never tried to take shelter. So for this, you shall suffer for the rest of your life. And this is the way the creator put him. As you know, how the zebra looks today. He has a stripe on his coat. And that stripe is there to show to you people or anybody else so clearly because of his stripe. So this is the way the creator punishes anybody that doesn't respect themselves on this earth. Or if they judge for themselves. So, this is what ha is happening to human beings. We're judging for ourselves. We don't like what's going on. And this is why the world is so hard to try and correct it because of the situation. In other words, what I'm saying, we have got too much education. We know too much. Just because a person went to Harvard Law School, he knows better than a person going to a small college, maybe a community college, because they classify Harvard as being the highest education. They classify that for the reason because the people with high money, with a lot of money, send their kids to school there. But yet, education should be at its level, regardless. Where you go to school, 
or how, who you are that gets that education. But today, it's not like that. Even on employment in our work, the man with the most money gets the benefit out of it. So you young children, because we're dedicating this dances and everything tonight to you kids, we hope that you will think of the things that we have said to you. Think of the animals, what has happened to them because they did not respect the Creator's way. So we are like the animals. We have different nationality today here in this country. We are like the animals, but yet we are no different to the Creator. We can be punished the same way as the animal was punished. So you young children, you think. You don't want to be like the morning dove. You don't want to be like the zebra and be known out in the open. You cannot hide. So don't be that way. You think as you grow along. But the muskrat, he was lazy. He laid around the banks and he only ate whatever he could find, mostly bark off in the tree. So this went on. Finally the Creator came back on earth and he told a muskrat, he says, you are a lazy muskrat. You have a tail which you could use. You have a teeth and a claws that you could use, but you did not use it. You used it on something that is very easy. So he took the tail away from him and gave it to the beaver. Because the beaver was a hard-working animal. And today, that change is still there. So what I'm saying to you young kids, the creator, creator still has that power to change anything he wants to. Regardless of what you've been taught, that change can be made. So you think the way you are put on this earth, you adjust yourself accordingly with the earth. Respect the things that the Creator has set down on earth. And I hope that you learn and study the lesson you had today. Like I said, we're dedicating the songs and the dances to you.